basic building block number five. Showing the plan or doing the presentation. Ultimately, in any business around the world, there is something called the core activity. There are many activities in any business, but there's one thing called core activity. That means if you're running a restaurant, what's your core activity? Cooking food, all right? Not decorating the walls. The decorating the walls and how your restaurant looks is a secondary concern. The core activity of any business must be the focus of the person involved in the business. Now, you are now part of QNET. You're part of a hundred over billion industry, all right, called network marketing. Now, network marketing has one core activity that is showing the plan, doing the presentation. Now, basic building block number one, the dream. Building block number two, commitment. Building block number three, the list. Building block number four, inviting and prospecting. Now you come to the fundamental core activity of the whole business called showing the plan. Now, there is no right way which is specific in nature how you're going to show the plan. Now, the plan is not to convince the person. The plan is sharing information. Now, this is very important for you to understand. All right? Sharing information, giving information, and convincing is different. Convincing means you work very hard to convince the person. Ultimately, I have one simple philosophy in my whole journey in this business. You cannot convince anyone. They convince themselves. Your job is to give enough information to help him make a decision which you want, which is yes, I want to be part of QNET. I want to sign up right now. Now, the plan is very simple. All right? Don't complicate it. All right? In QNET, the plan is simply divided to four parts. All right? Showing the plan. I'll put it as TP. Okay? All right? First, obviously, you've got to talk about the company. So you talk about the company. All right? What information do you give about the company? As much information as you think the person needs. If you are meeting your auntie who's 65 years old, let's not complicate her life and talk about e-commerce and how the internet works. And all that. That's too much information. So people ask me, how long should the presentation be? Well, my presentations are 12 minutes, sometimes 10 minutes. Sometimes on the plane when I'm sitting next to somebody, I can do the whole plan in five minutes. Now, that's the plan. Now, if they ask questions, I answer, that's no longer the plan. So showing the plan is systematic, very simple. Now, I'm not going to specify how you should do it. I'm just going to tell you what information you must have in it. All right? You must have the company. You must have the products, which is fundamentally important. Now, do you talk about all the products? You cannot. Because today, QNET has hundreds of products. Your plan is going to be as long as one week. You check into a hotel and show the plan, then go to sleep, wake up, continue showing the plan. Right? So I just give a little bit of information about the types of products that is available. If he shows interest in a specific product, I give him more information. If not, he goes back, go to www.qnet.net and finds out for himself. Everyone uses the internet today. There's enough information on our website all right, to satisfy his hunger for product knowledge. And then I talk about the comp plan or the compensation plan all right, of QNET, okay? which is very simple. Three on the left, three on the right, you get paid. All right? Now, don't complicate it. Don't draw one whole whiteboard word of diagrams to show him. Because remember, after he signs up, he must continue learning. So what are you giving? You are giving enough information to help him make a decision that he wants to join. That's all. Too much information, you switch him off. Too little information, he may say, no, I'm not sure, let me think about it. Now, showing the plan has to be done properly in the right environment, all right? Okay, and a restaurant, not too noisy. He comes to your house, you go to his house. Office, I try to avoid too many things happening, all right? So when you're showing the plan, you've got company, you've got products, you've got comp plan, all right? And then the fourth one is potential scenarios, okay? Potential stimulations or scenarios, all right? Okay, where you show him different possibilities of how he can make money and how much money he can make. Different possibilities of where he's going to put his mom, where he's going to put his best friend, all right? What happens when he gets six year and five year? 
What happens when you got 10 serious people, 10 serious people, and they each bring one sign up every month? A lot of scenarios to excite him. All right, into understanding the true potential of how much money he can make. Now, what is the plan about? Should he be product focused? Should he be company focused? Well, my concept is very simple. Give enough information about anything, but ultimately focus on the money. Right? Focus on the opportunity. Focus on the income. Because I didn't get into network marketing to buy a product. I got into network marketing to become financially free. So what excited me when I saw the plan was how much money I can make. But equally, the plan cannot be a lie. You cannot say no work and you become a millionaire in one month. That's a lie. That's misrepresentation. You get in trouble. He's going to sign up and wait for one month. Money doesn't come from the sky. You're in trouble. So wake up and smell the coffee. The plan must be attractive enough, all right, but not a lie, not misrepresentation. That's very important. So I make my plan super attractive to excite him and give him enough information to make a decision. And the decision you want is simply yes. That's what you want him to say. So give enough information. Now, the plan has to be done professionally. Be prepared. Now, there are people who use laptops, PowerPoints, projector, all right, all those kind of things. Well, I'm Patman Sinatiraja. I'm simple. Piece of paper, a pen. If he wants to see a website, I have an iPad. Open the website, show him the products. The world of technology is going to advance, but ultimately, it's between you and him. Human nature applies. They want to see simplicity. Because what you do, he has to duplicate. So when he sees me with a pen and paper, he thinks, man, this is easy. I, even I can do this. That's very important. So everything you do in network marketing must be able to be duplicated by everyone. So the plan is about giving enough information to excite the person so that he can make a decision. And the decision you're looking for is yes. Make it attractive. Make it unbelievable. But don't cross the line and lie and misrepresent. So ultimately, this is the core activity, basic building block number five. Show the plan, show the plan, and show more plans, because this is what's going to take you towards financial freedom.